Hey guys and welcome back. So today we're going to be doing my monthly makeup bag, but this is a little bit of a different setup for you guys. Um, I figured instead of just kind of sitting down and showing you the products or, show, or sitting down and using them, I figured I'd show you kind of my thought process for going through my previous monthly makeup bag and then actually picking products out for my next monthly makeup bag. So that's what we're going to be doing today. I'm going to kind of walk you through how I decide what I want to keep or declutter from my February monthly makeup bag and show you how to pick out products for my March monthly makeup bag. So let's get into this. <laughs> so each monthly makeup bag I have stored in this plastic drawers right here. There are two drawers. Top drawer has my base products and then bronzing products and then the bottom drawer has pretty much everything else in it. <laughs> Usually I try to do like base face products and eye products but there always tends to be more like face products than eyes so it just it gets all mixed up but we're gonna go through the products first and first up we have my kind of face slash bronzer drawer um if you guys remember i had two foundations in this monthly makeup bag i had the mac face and body hopefully that focuses and then I also have the Nude Sticks Nudies Tinted Blur. So, unfortunately, I have to declutter the MAC Face and Body because it did start to break my skin out. Um, some formulations of the MAC Face and Body actually have dimethicone as their second ingredient. And I have a sensitivity to dimethicone, especially when it's that far up in the ingredients list. So, I have to say goodbye to this. Which really pains me because I love the way this looks on my skin. But it just has been really irritating my skin recently. So, this has to go. I also have the Nude Sticks Nudies Tinted Blur. I didn't get as much use out of this as I thought I was going to this t month. And I think because of that, I'm going to keep it in my monthly makeup bag for March. I really want to try and use this product up before I get rid of it. Next up, we have the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. Again, this was another product that was really close to being used up. And I just didn't make it for the month of February. There's still a bit of products left in here. So... I'm going to keep it in here for March. Next up, we have my Kevin Acoin Sculpting Powder. Um, I do really like this product still, and I did get some good use out of it this month, so I'm just going to put this right back into my collection. The Marc Jacobs Bronzer. Now, this is a product that I'm going to put to the side and kind of decide what I want to do with it. So, I like it. It's good, but... I just don't find it like inspiring me anymore and I think the fragrance in it was irritating my skin a bit but I don't know if that was just the MAC face and body or this product too so I kind of feel like I have to test it out more but if there's another bronzer that I want to put in this monthly makeup bag I'm going to swap it out but if there isn't another bronzer I want to use in March I'm going to keep this in so this is kind of just going to go to the side for now. And then last but not least in this drawer, I have the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Lip Booster. Again, this is a product I wanted to use up and just couldn't in March. So I'm going to keep it in here and use it. Couldn't use it up in February. Going to try and use it up in March. As for the second drawer, first up we have the Essence Moonlighter from Klee. This is their Cushion Highlighter. This is a product that I really like and I really wanted to try and use it up. But it just didn't happen. But I do really like it, so I'm not like too mad about that. So I'm just gonna put this back in my collection. This ColourPop shadow in Waddles. Um, I got some decent use out of this, and I do really like the color, so I'm going to keep that as well. My Too Faced Pop I Don't Peach Blush. This is a tough one because I used this a few times and then just found myself not really wanting to reach for it. I don't know. I just don't find that it's something. I really reach for anymore or it's not really something that I want to keep so I'm gonna put this in with the bronzer as like a maybe pile to come back to um next up we have the dose of colors Katie X Desi palette um okay this palette was so patchy and hard to blend like I don't really understand it was really bad <laughs> um I don't know if I just like it was just me or what but if you've had a similar experience with this palette please let me know because I feel like I'm going crazy because I have another dose of colors palette that I really really love this one just isn't that great so I think I'm actually going to declutter this 
Um, next up we have my NARS highlight. This is Fort de France. I freaking love this thing. I really fell in love with it while using it in this makeup bag, so it's gonna go back in my drawer. And then I just have like these last bits and pieces. This Oh Hi Ma Mini Mascara is literally on its last leg. There's maybe a few more uses out of it, so I'm gonna keep it in here. Um, I also have this Clinique Lippy. Um, I like this one, um, but I'm going to pull it out and put it back in my collection because I want to pick something new. Um, I also have my brow products. So I have the Goof Proof Brow Pencil, which I put a decent dent in, but there's still a lot of product in here. So I'm going to keep it in here. And then same thing with my Benefit Brow Setter. I'm going to keep this in here as well because I do really like it, but I'm just trying to use it up because I have other brow gels that I like more. All right. So now that my drawers are mostly empty... We're going to do the fun thing and pick out the next products. I got to move you though. I have all of my makeup in this dresser from Urban Outfitters that I have. So I'm going to pull the first drawer out. <laughs> this is it. Here we go. And all of my products are separated into their corresponding categories because I'm a neat freak and I like to be organized. Hopefully this doesn't fall. So first up, we have my primer bin and I actually don't really have too many primers at the moment which is shocking because normally I have a lot more um, I have a few bronzing primers some illuminating ones what else do we have in here I just got the Ren perfect canvas that I've really been liking I have the Vichy mineral 89 that's like really good if you want like a hydrated base um, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my Hello Fab Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer into my monthly makeup bag. Um, this is another product that I thought might be breaking me out, so we're going to test it out. Now I have room for my other bronzing primer. I have a lot of bronzing primers, and I don't really know why. Well, I know why. I like to be bronzed, but there's just too many. Alright, now for foundations. I have two, three, four, five, six, seven foundations, including the eighth foundation that's already in my makeup bag. I have some foundations that are kind of newer to me and that I've been loving. So the three that are newest to me are the uh, Charlotte Tilbury Light Wonder, which I've really been liking, the Kosas Tinted Face Oil, which I like. Um, oh, whoa. <laughs> there will be a video coming soon on this, and then also the Milk Makeup Blur Liquid I've been really enjoying. Some other favorites of mine that have been in my collection for a little bit are the NARS Sheer Glow and the Makeup Forever Stick Foundation. So what I'm left with is my three kind of tubey products. I have the Laura Mercier Tinted M Moisturizer. I have the Lancome Skin Feels Good Hydrating Skin Tint. And then I also have the Natasha Denona Face Glow Foundation. So these are all foundations that I do really enjoy. Foundation is my favorite thing to purchase. Um, it's my favorite thing to test out, so I always have a lot of them, which is really not not ideal. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer into my monthly makeup bag. There's not a ton left in here, and I'm really hoping that I can use it up this month. And then stick these bad boys back in. My goal for myself right now is to use up two foundations before I purchase a new one. We'll see how that goes. As for concealer, I only have only <laughs> I only have four other concealers aside from the Too Faced one. I have the newest one to my collection, which is the Giorgio Armani Power Fabric. I have the LC Complete Remedy Concealer, and then my two like summer concealers are the NARS Soft Matte and the First Aid Beauty Bendy Avocado. So these I'm not going to put in. I'm honestly not going to put in another concealer because I think one is enough, and I just really want to use up that one. So. I have a lot of cheap products. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Whoa, wait, whoa. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen highlighters. To say I have a problem would be an understatement. Okay. Let's get into this. So I'm going to put my two highlighters that I'm going to keep around back in here. And then I, w I like to keep two highlighters in my monthly makeup bag, one cream and one powder, just kind of depending on what kind of mood I'm in. So I think I'm gonna, going to keep that same setup. I'm going to pick a cream and a powder to put into my monthly makeup bag. So first up for the powder highlight, I'm going to put in the Anastasia Beverly Hills Amrezy highlight, 
mostly because I got this for Christmas which was super recently and I just haven't been giving it the love that it deserves it's a gorgeous highlight um, but I just I I have too many and I don't use things <laughs> so I'm going to put this in my monthly makeup bag and then I'm also going to pick a cream highlight I think I'm going to put in the milk makeup mini in lit this is all that I have left of it so I really want to try and use this up and then I would purchase the full size because it is a gorgeous product. It's one of my favorite cream highlighters. So I'm going to try and use this up this month. All right, so now on to blush. Oh, God. For someone who doesn't like blush, I have a lot of... The thing about me with blush is because I don't wear it too much, when I buy a blush, I have to really, really like that blush. Otherwise, it's not coming home. Um, so pretty much all of these I really do enjoy. So none of them I want to technically use up. Um, but I do want to try out, mm, I don't know, okay, let's do this one. I recently purchased this Too Faced Peach Blush, what is this? Peach My Cheeks Melting Powder Blush um, at TJ Maxx, and I really like the shade, but I just haven't been using it as much as I thought I would, so I'm going to put that in my monthly makeup bag. And then bronzer, let's see about bronzer. Um, honestly, for someone who loves bronzer that much, I really don't have that many. So I have three powder, four cream. Um, so I think I'm just going to keep that Marc Jacobs bronzer in my monthly makeup bag and see if I like it or what's going on with that. So I'm going to keep that. And I think this Papa Don't Peach Too Faced blush, even though it smells delicious, I'm going to declutter. So last but not least, we have my eye drawer. And this is going to be a little bit more challenging. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna pick my palette last. Most of these are like glitter eyeshadows. They're not necessarily things that I want to use up. Okay, so I am going to pull two things out of here aside from an eyeshadow palette. So the first thing is this Ico Lash Alert Mascara. Uh, it's a little sample size. I'm gonna throw this in here for when my Oh Hi Mascara is done. And then I also want to use up this Makeup Forever Aqua XL paint. I was trying to use this up in my January monthly makeup bag, and then I got really sick of it. So I put it back in my collection, but I just want this out of my collection. So I'm going to try and use it up. And then is there anything? Oh, I'm going to put this ColourPop shadow back in here. All right, so for this month's palette, I'm going to be using my other Dose of Colors palette. This is the Baked Browns. I want to see if this is as good as I remember or similar to that other one, because now I'm just really confused. Um, but it's just like an all matte. Uh, palette and I think this will be really good in conjunction with this so I'll be forced to use this because I have no other shimmer options. <laughs> so for lips I'm going to pick this ColourPop Blotted Lip in Drip. I've had this for a while and I really like the shade but I just never use it so we're gonna see how this goes. All right so let's do a quick recap and just kind of talk about what products I want to use up, what products I want to kind of rediscover and all that good stuff. So starting off with products I want to use up this month, there are a lot, so we'll see how this goes. Um, but first up, I want to definitely use up this Nude Sticks Nudies Tinted Blur. Um, it's a nice product, but it's just, I have other lightweight bases that I like more. This is all the product that is left. I've used quite a bit of it, so I definitely think this one will be doable this month. We shall see. I just have to, like wear it a lot. My last monthly makeup bag, because my skin was acting up, I wasn't wearing makeup that much, so I think that's why I didn't use up as many products. Um, also, the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer. I like this, but the color isn't great for me, and there are just, again, other lightweight bases that I like more, so I definitely want to try... Oh gosh, that was a lot to use this up. Checking the shade. Yeah, it's just like a little bit too gray for me but I can make it work. So I'm gonna try and use that up. Doesn't fit in there. I'm also gonna try and use up the Too Faced Born This Way concealer. I love this concealer, but it is so close to its end. Like I'm scraping the sides. So this one will definitely be doable this month. I also wanna use up this Makeup Forever Ultra HD Lip. Uh, I think this will definitely be doable again because it's I'm pretty much scraping the sides of it. So that'll be doable. This Milk Makeup highlight stick that I got in a subscription box. Again, I love this product, but I definitely think I'll be able to use it up. That's all the product that's left. And afterwards, I will definitely purchase the full size. Um, for mascaras, these will def 
definitely both be done this one only has like a few more uses out of it and this is a travel size so i definitely think i'll be able to use up both of those the brow products i'm just going to keep in my monthly makeup bag until i use them up so if i use them up this month great if not you'll be seeing them in april and then i'm really really hoping that i use these this makeup forever uh color paint up this month because i just i just don't like it anymore <laughs> i just need it to be gone and then the other products that are going to be in here that aren't really necessarily products i want to use up just products that i want to get some use out of the hello fab coconut skin smoothie priming moisturizer the dose of colors baked browns palette the mark jacobs tantastic omega bronzer i never remember what that's called the ColourPop Blotted Lippy, the Amrezy Highlight from ABH, and this blush from Too Faced. So that is my monthly makeup bag this month. I'm excited to kind of see where this month takes me and see what products I can use up. If you guys want to see a look using these products, definitely let me know in the comments. And let me know what style of video you like more. Do you like me putting on the products? Do you like me just showing them to you? Do you like this where I kind of took you through the reasoning for picking them? Definitely let me know. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I will see you in my next video. <laughs> Bye guys.